Hey everybody, everybody 7 here and welcome back to the channel to the news roundup for FIFA 23, I guess. Uh, yeah, it's gonna start that time of the year, new information. I know it's been a long time, but I, I need to rest as well, you know, can't be FIFA all the time. Or, I don't know, I'd shoot myself, because uh, this game already triggers me enough. Uh, so I haven't been playing, I haven't been done uh, any of those types of videos, just small clips, especially on my, on my TikTok. Uh, but yeah, anyway, let's go, let's go, let's see some stuff here. Basically, let's uh, see, uh, pre-order, let's see the pre-order now, let's see the bonuses. Let's go, uh, I don't know, PlayStation. Why on Stadia? Uh, okay, so the pre-order, basically, limited time FIFA World Cup Foot Hero item, get an untradeable FIFA World Cup Foot Hero item from November 11. That sucks. I was doing the TikTok and it was saying August, maybe it was a pre-order, I don't know, maybe I read it wrong. Three day early access, uh, play from September 27, basically it's gonna be, uh, it's coming up September 30. If you do the EA access, you can play the, those 10 hours before these, the 27, uh, so you can try that. Double entitlement, so you'll have the PlayStation 5 upgrade for free. What happens if you buy the PlayStation 4 version? Uh, you, oh, sorry, the PlayStation 5 version. Do you get the 4? My suggestion is buy the PlayStation 4 version, even if it's the Ultimate Team. Buy the cheapest one. And if you buy through the game store, so you join FIFA, you'll get even a 10% discount. You can you can try that. It becomes even cheaper. Uh, the same thing as last year, the ones to watch item player. 400 and uh, sorry 4600 FIFA points I read 440 but maybe the, my eyes were deceiving me first team of the week one player okay interesting Kelly Mbappe loan item foot ambassador loan player pick so it's Vinicius Davis son I know Havertz is one as well then career mode homegrown talent this career mode gonna have a women's uh, team like they have that now anyway there's gonna be Hyper Motion 2, they upgraded, I don't know, I think it's gonna suck, I didn't like what they did, this, the game was, the game was bad, FIFA 22 was bad, let's hope 23 is better. Then, introducing women's club football, play as a women's club team for the first time in EA Sports FIFA history, as the Barclays FA Women's Super League and Division 1 Arkema come to FIFA 23 at lunch, plus, enjoy the dedicated Hyper Motion 2 capture on next gen that brings unique true to life football motions to the women's game in FIFA 23. With more details to go through, okay, there will be more information. The double FIFA World Cup. Basically, I'm gonna, I know what this is. Basically, you're gonna have the official uh, modes in game, the World Cup in Qatar for men's and the Women's World Cup for uh, Australia. So you can uh, win, let's say with Portugal, you can win both with the men and the women. Crossplay comes to FIFA 23. What do we have anything here? Crossplay, okay. Basically, against friends, you'll have online friendlies. You can go PlayStation 4 and Xbox One, PlayStation 5, uh, Xbox Series X, uh, and Stadium PC. Foot play a friend as well. A f okay, against friend matchmaking. This is what I want because this is going to expand a lot. Play footies, uh, online footies. Uh, no, well, I'm reading this wrong. Foot online friendlies. Yeah, it's the same. PS4, Xbox One. So you can play foot online, online seasons, foot rivals, foot champions, a foot online draft. It's going to be uh, cross play, but it doesn't cross PlayStation 4 with Xbox Series X, for example, or Steady and PC. Basically, if you play on PlayStation 4 servers, you can only play with Xbox One. This is going to be quite interesting because i think the market is also yeah the foot transfer market yeah foot chair it's a position four five okay never mind position four five xbox uh, xbox series x and that's instead it all will share the market uh okay basically that next what's coming uh new gameplay features okay this only 27 we'll be back with the video but heroes okay i don't want to pre-order we already saw that then, put heroes. We already predicted these two, Yaya Touré and Park Jin Sung, and I already 
post to TikTok and I posted videos here talking about this. I don't think Yaya Touré and Park Ji-sung deserve to be heroes. I think they are icons. And the same with Carvalho. Because he was good in Portugal with Porto. He did something historic, which was winning the, um, the UEFA Cup and Champions League with Porto. I know they had a great team but and Mourinho. But yeah, he was great with Porto. He was great with Chelsea. He was great at Real Madrid. And he was great at Monaco, despite the fact he ended the career. And he won a Euro Cup with Portugal, despite the fact he wasn't one of the main ones because he was already too old. But uh, yeah, we can. Every hero has an origin story. Ricardo Carvalho started in his native Portugal during his time at Porto. He went from Loni to League's best player, culminating in an unforgettable, unforgettable European night that made him the foot hero he is. So he's, if he's going to be a foot hero, he's going to be League of Portugal, uh, not Premier League, the way they're writing down. Uh, Carvalho led Porto to a free in the demolition of AS Monaco, the perfect finish to one of the most iconic UEFA Champions League runs of all time. That triumph was uh, also with Springboard to Premier League, where he's exploited Chelsea become the stuff of legend. See, they're already giving like two clubs where he made history. That's enough for an icon. I think that's enough for an icon. And then remember, they're not writing it down, but he played really well, even a bit older. He played really well at Real Madrid. He played really well at Monaco. Um, I'll go more in depth when it comes to this because I'm going to do a small clip because uh, I like to analyze this. I think Carvalho should be an icon as well. I think they're dropping the ball when it comes to heroes and icons. Anyway, there's there will be more information. Seven minutes, uh, that's more than enough. I'll see you on the next one. Please leave a like, a comment, hit the bell icon. And two things. Uh, I changed my main Twitch name for to Platinator87, where I do offline games, and there is a new channel which is Fubu87 Competitive, where I will stream FIFA. The links are going to be down below. Be sure to give, leave a like, a comment, hit the bell icon, you know, all those good things that make us grow. Oh, I haven't said it in a long time, that didn't roll well. Sub button up here, and there should be something over there, and I'll see you on the next one. Bye!